I bet you thought that was a rattler, but you were wrong. Hoist, I'm Billy Benzer, and I'm a snake hunter. If you want to be a snake hunter too, you got to have the right equipment. I like to carry a vest that's got lots of pockets. Breast pocket. Chapstick, you might need it. Breast pocket. Cutting swabs, you might need it. Also in the breast pocket. Floss, you might need it mate. Side pocket. Electric shave, really good for cleaning your wounds, it's got the alcohol and the septic. It's really good on your skin too mate. Other side pocket. I've got my Leatherman, screwdriver, and peppermints. I like peppermints, mate. Pants pocket. Never go anywhere without a flashlight. Some snakes are not torn up. It doesn't hurt your night vision. You're also going to need something to catch him with. I like to carry a pole with a lasso at the end of it, so the ring around his neck and sits real tight. Remember, we're not trying to kill him. We just want to capture him so we can study him and learn about his culture. This, just in case the lasso doesn't work. Might need it. Alright mates, it's getting serious. While I was trying to do this film, I got called out to a structure fire. When it was all said and done, they saw the kaboom snake on the other side of the street holding a lighter and a can of gasoline. I'm not trying to say that they're connected, but I'm not saying they're not. I think it's time we knew our enemy, because this kaboom is definitely our enemy. All right, first, you've got to know everything there is to know about the snake. So, what is this kaboom viper we've been hearing about? All right. First, it's important to know that the Gaboon Viper is a very big viper. Just how big is a Gaboon Viper? Well, I've drawn for you an exact replica of what a Gaboon Viper looks like in the wild. It's very possible the Gaboon that we have right here in Milledgeville looks just like this Viper here on the board. From snap to tail, about four to five feet long. The Gaboon Viper can go as much as 44 pounds. You see here, we have two triangles on either side of the eye. All right, what does a Gaboon look like? The Gaboon is a very large head. It's three times the size of its neck. All right, the Gaboon Viper is known for the size of its fangs. You see here, the fangs can be as large as two inches. That's pretty scary, mate. The Gaboon is also known for its tusks. He's got these horn-like tusks that come from the nose up like a prehistoric rhinoceros. All right, what else can we talk about? This viper has a very deep and long hiss. Watch out for that, mate. The venom of the Gaboon viper is very deadly. Some of the worst in the world because of how much venom the Gaboon delivers in a single bite. One bite from the Gaboon Viper delivers 450 to 600 milligrams of venom. It only takes 35 milligrams to kill a man. A powerful punch there, mate. Alright, what does the Gaboon Viper eat? They eat mice, birds, rabbits. But what else do they eat? We may never know. Right, at this point we know about the Gaboon Viper is from Africa. Here in this region, the best place to find the Gaboon Viper. We also know the Gaboon Viper is here, in Milledgeville, Georgia. Alright, so, what aliases does this Gaboon Viper have? Firstly, it's known as the Vitus Gabonica, also known as the Swamp Jack, the Puff Adder, the Kaboom Viper, the Baboon Viper, the Ghetto Boom Snake. Boy, now, I'm going to remind you watchers. If you're not a snake specialist like myself, you don't need to be trying to handle the Gaboon Viper. But what you do need to know is how you can protect your family. Right, 
I think it had a lot of questions lately on how do I protect my family from the Gap Moon Viper? Well, the best thing you need to know is the Gap Moon Viper is a nocturnal beast. Not likely to see him in the daytime, but he may move. At night, he gets hungry. When he's hungry, he likes to move and hide, and he likes to sit in the leaves, the thickets, the bushes, and he'll wait in ambush his prey. You or your children are out walking along in the dark. You might step on this viper, but the viper's not quick to react. So test it. As we mentioned earlier, he likes to make a long, deep hiss. He may warn you, but he may not. The boy strikes. 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 The boy strikes. Right. All right, mates. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your interest, Gavin Viper. Your life may depend on what I taught you tonight. Remember, it could be anywhere. Right. There's no need to worry, because we are the Harrisburg Invasive Snake Squad. But we got it under control. Strike!